spot that as it's going on out there and, and take that type of action. And beyond just basic uh, queries themselves, just one other tab I wanted to go ahead and show. Um, at the statement level, uh, a common issue are deadlocks. And uh, a graphical deadlock analysis that SQL Century provides out of the box is um, very comprehensive. Really, all the details that you need to, to troubleshoot your deadlocks whenever they occur on your server. Uh, you see I have a graphical representation of the deadlock here. And I should mention, this is without the need of installing any agents on your monitored servers, uh, as well as um, setting any trace flags, doing any configuration on the monitored servers themselves. This is out-of-the-box functionality. We can provide deadlock analysis. Uh, the graphical view here, and some of you may be familiar with the, the graph that you can capture um, through Profiler with the native tools. You do get a graphical view, but it really still leaves you with a lot of additional manual effort to track down all the details you need to fix the problem. Um, you're dealing with a bunch of reference IDs and SPIDs and that sort of thing, where here we're already resolving the resource names, the host names, applications, where these things are coming from. You see the deadlock victim here in red. And then these numbers and letters not just showing you the type of lock, the, the letters representing those exclusive and update locks and so forth that you see here, but the numbers actually showing you the order in which the locks were applied. So with this graphical view, I can actually step right through and see how the deadlock developed and exactly what order these locks were applied that led to this circular logic where SQL Server identifies that deadlock and chooses the deadlock victim. And then from here, drill further down into the individual owners and waiters and see the actual commands themselves that were being executed uh, by these processes at the time the deadlock was detected. So really complete information on your deadlocks out of the box whenever they occur 24-7. And this pretty straightforward circular deadlock here with a couple of processes. Um, they obviously, deadlocks can get much more complicated than this. I've seen some pretty interesting graphs <laughs> generated um, by deadlocks and without having that type of view into the deadlock it can be almost impossible sometimes to really determine the true scope of the deadlock and try to uh, fix those and prevent them from happening again. So that's the type of visibility that uh, the full Performance Advisor product uh, can provide. Um, there's plenty of other features as well. I'm not going to go through a full demo, but just give you a taste of what's available and the differences between the free product as well as the, the built-in functionality uh, with the, the full product here with SQL Century Performance Advisor. Um, if uh, you know, anyone is interested in, in this additional functionality, I encourage you to visit our website at www.sqlcentury.net. You download a fully functional evaluation version of the product, of course, is along with the, the free tool, Plan Explorer. Um, and like we mentioned, it is a truly free tool, the Plan Explorer tool. There's no registration required for that tool. Um, you simply go to our website and, and can download it. But if you're interested in um, the additional full monitoring of your SQL Server environment, we'll hope that you'll, you'll give uh, at least a try of our evaluation of the, the full suite of products that we offer. Um, along with Event Manager and our Analysis Services uh, products as well. So uh, at this point, uh, we've. I, does anyone else, do you guys have anything else to add before we do the drawing for the iPad 2? You know what, the one thing that I'll say, this is Brent again, uh, whenever people talk to me about should I use a third party product or should I know how to use everything manually, Sure, it's good to know how to use things manually, but I look at tools like this, like SQL Sentry, as really like you're buying a set of DMVs that you can start querying. Only you don't even really have to write queries. They've already written the GUI for you. You could go off and spend all kinds of time trying to rebuild this wheel on your own. There is nothing wrong with using tools like this in a GUI. Boy, long ago when I first got started, I really thought that I would be a much bigger manly man if I could do all this myself. And now I know that I, just as I don't try and build my own car, I don't cut my own hair, and I don't uh, try to cut my own suits, it just makes so much more sense to use a tool like this, and less people can manage more servers. So you're able to simply go tackle new stuff. And if you, if you need justification from your boss in order why you should uh, buy software like this, the perfect time to do it is when he tries to bring in more servers. Whenever there's a company merger, whenever you acquire new SQL servers, or there's a new project, 
you can say, look, this is one more SQL Server instance that I just don't have the time to manage, but if I had a tool where I could manage more servers easier, I would be able to do this. Because you know they're not going to hire more people to help you, whereas they may be open to buying you tools so that you can manage more stuff easier and catch things without having to constantly be behind the eight ball. Yeah, and this is Tim here. I was, I'm just going to second what Brent said because I was in the same boat. I always thought, hey, I, I can build my own. It can do exactly what I want it to do that way. And what invariably always happens is you get halfway through it, or if you're lucky, um, a quarter of the way through it even, and you have to jump into a production issue. And one thing leads to another, and you never get back to building your own solution. Uh, SQL Sentry was started by you know, DBAs like us that weren't happy with, with the tools they had to work with, so they built their own, and you know, now we can buy their effort. We can we can we can use our our good money to get other people to build things for us that we would build if we first of all were as smart as they were and second of all had the time to do it. So um, I, I don't have very many third party tools, uh, but I do have SQL Sentry. This is one of those tools that I've I've always said you know now I have the luxury of being a consultant and I get to come in and point fingers and tell other people what to do. But if I was to go back and be a full-time DBA again, the very first thing that I would do is make a purchase of a product to make my life easier because you just can't manage all this stuff. Even you just look at this dashboard. You know, your ability to manage this stuff totally depends on a tool that can go in, find the right information for you, and be gathering for you behind the scenes when you're not doing anything uh, so that when problems strike, you can jump back in time, look and see what was going on, and find out what the right answers were instead of looking stupid to management going, well, if you can reproduce the problem, I'll be able to fix it for you. Mm -hmm. you know, that doesn't make you look good, and you want to look good. Using a product yeah. like this is what is all about making you look better. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I refer to this um, as my um, what happened at 2 a.m. last night tool um, because it, it's, it's quite a frequent thing that, that you're, you're contacted by somebody that says, hey, at 2 o'clock last night, my, my, my uh, database was running slow. What was happening? And my first answer is, well, I was sleeping. Um, <laughs> uh, here you can, is that what you were doing? Exactly. And, and here you can go back and say, okay, well, let me take a look, and I can tell you exactly what was going on or wasn't going on at 2 a.m. Uh, because I can, I can use this as my time machine and go back and see it. You'll also notice that there... Take some grain of salt with whenever you see somebody from the community. So like you see Tim and I in here talking on this webcast. We don't do this kinds of stuff for products that we don't believe in. Um, and that when you see people saying here, this is a product that I'd like to talk about, uh, and you know, Tim and I are just in this to, to have integrity for the rest of our lives in the community, we're not out there to sell you a sham wow. You know, none no. of us are, are interested in pushing anything that doesn't work. And we rely on tools like this every single day. So am I to assume then that if, if they purchase a, a five-server a five, uh, license for this, they don't throw in a ShamWow? I, I, don't, I think that might be just like a kickback thing. I think the ShamWow goes to the CIO. Well, you know, the ShamWow would probably come in handy on a cruise. Maybe that's a good idea for the next promotion, for the next cruise. There you go. And, and speaking of that, um, as we're getting ready for, for this cruise here in about three days, four days, um, we are actually starting to look at options for um, possibly November, uh, trying not to compete with uh, the past summit and obviously with, with uh, Thanksgiving in the States and uh, Christmas just about everywhere else. So, um, so it's one of those things where uh, if you couldn't get on this one, uh, keep your eyes and ears open for one later on in the year. and. Uh, Hopefully we'll we'll be back here again with with uh, SQL Sentry doing something like this or or uh, or uh, newer and cooler uh, in about six months. And we promise not to involve any hairy chest uh, contests either, especially now. With <laughs> Well, uh, before we we have the drawing, just one last thing. A couple of questions have come up about uh, the the webinar being able to review it. Uh, obviously, there were much in the way of PowerPoint slides, so it wouldn't really be worth just posting that. But we are um, recording the webinar here, 
and uh, we'll make that uh, available shortly after the fact. So we'll uh, get that posted, and everyone that's that's registered, you know, we can uh, make that uh, available if anyone would like to review if you joined a little late or anything like that. Um, so now I guess it's the uh, time to to make the the drawing, and uh, there was uh, quite a big group of attendees here, so it was uh, um, yeah great to see such a turnout for the webinar today, and uh, we did do a random drawing of of everybody who's there, and I'm just going to say you know you, you do have to be present to to win. So uh, what we'd like you to do is if I do call out your name and you are here and present just to, to verify that you're here and uh, and paying attention and haven't just left the webinar up and gone to lunch just either in the question or the chat box just confirm that you're here when I call your name and I'll confirm that and we'll follow up uh, we have your your email address and uh, make the arrangements to uh, get the iPad 2 to you so let's see here with let me find who's the First lucky contestant, let's see if they are here. I have Samson Liu. Samson Liu, if, if you are still on and, and sure enough, a quick response. Samson is here. Congratulations. Uh, you've won the iPad too. Awesome. Congratulations, Samson. I want to say that he's Samson J. Liu on Twitter. Let me see. Oh, no, Samson uh, Liu. Equal Samson, isn't he? No, uh, Samson Liu. John Samson. Oh, it's John Sampson. Okay. Are you sure yeah, there's just Samson yeah. J. Liu? Yeah, Samson Liu is uh, the one probably who just won. Yeah, he said it used to be just Samson. Yeah. If you can see, I think. No, that's pronounced, that was pronounced Tim Ford, correct? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it looks like it. It's, yeah, I think that's the proper pronunciation, yes, yeah, Tim Ford. Okay, great. Fantastic. <laughs> You can, bring, you can bring that to Seattle with you on, on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations. Uh, hey, Central, guys. Yeah, I want to – just really quick from Brent and I, uh, I want to say thank you for everything that you guys have done for us in SQL Cruise and, and just as, as sincerely what you've done for the community. Um, you guys have been great, um, and I can only imagine that, that uh, you won't be letting up anytime soon. So thank you very much. Yeah, well, this is a great community, and we're we're happy to be a part of it. So, okay, All right. well, thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate it. With that, uh, we'll wrap it up. Uh, watch for the the posting of the video, uh, and uh, if anybody does have uh, any questions, uh, if or you know, con feel free to to contact us with follow up questions. Um, you have uh, our email addresses, and like I said. Feel free to stop by the SQL Century and SQL Cruise websites for more information as well.